Afghanistan, they started playing uh, test cricket in uh, 2017. Actually, they got the ICC membership to become the 12th uh, test nation uh, in the cricketing history. Afghanistan has the highest record of scoring 278 runs in 20 overs in T20, in other words, in uh, with uh, Ireland. So they hold the record of the most run scored by any team uh, in uh, T20. So of course, if you think about that, Afghanistan is not something or a team to to be taken lightly. They also have Nabi. This guy he comes in the lower order of the batting line and he can really smash the ball really hard. Now if you are not somebody who is looking for a religious channel, if you're not someone who is looking for um, you know Islamic Quran and Hadith, then this channel is not for you, so don't subscribe. Serious. Uh, most of my videos are about Islam, uh, my religion. I rarely make other videos. Uh, I make videos other topics, especially when you know people are you know watching, people are following it, um, you know, in great deal. Then yes, I will make videos. On those topics but if you're not somebody who is uh, you know looking for religious <laughs> knowledge I guess I don't have knowledge but I share whatever I know then this channel is not for you so don't subscribe that's the first thing but if you are somebody who is uh, looking for a buddy you know if you want to hang out with me if you're looking for somebody a friend a, you know a companion uh, who will take you to places right now as you can see I am uh, by the legislative building in uh, Winnipeg this building is huge and, and see that that uh, fountain is incredible incredible it's really 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 beautiful and then you have this high tall rise building in downtown Winnipeg uh, this is the whole area for this parliament building if you like we call it a Manitoba legislative building but you can also call it like a parliament building there is a flag one interesting thing I want to show you is this one Oh, this guy is playing some music behind me. Um, take a look at these guys. So these people are just... Uh, and you have a car here. There's a golden boy statue right uh, on top of this on top of this um, building. I don't think I can show you that. It's too too high. Anyway, so going uh, going back to the topic for today, which is. Afghanistan cricket team they are a very formidable side especially now that they have almost uh, squeezed uh, India they are very confident that they can do pretty much a lot more in their next game so playing against Bangladesh for them will be a big challenge Bangladesh on the other hand, will not obviously take Afghanistan lightly. Uh, that will be a big mistake. Sakibul Hassan right now, this guy is in uh, very good form. He's the second highest run scorer in the World Cup. He made 424 runs, uh, just behind David Warner from Australia. So Sakibul Hassan will obviously play a huge role, whether it's with the bat or the ball. I believe he can also be very destructive with his bowling. With his bowling. Um, as you can see this mountain, I'm going close to it and so you can uh, hear the, the sound coming from the water drops. So Sakibul Hassan will definitely be a big uh, challenge for I'm gonna turn around so you can see the, the, the fountain uh, let me show you this see that there's a golden boy right on top I'll show you another video there's a golden boy so this guy is golden it's on top of this building and uh, so yeah so 
Saqib al Hassan will be a, a big factor, but now I'm gonna be mentioning you who will win the match. And I will give you my opinion, my prediction. I can be wrong, but I this is what I think will happen. Tomorrow's game will be uh, not a hugely uh, tight contest. I don't think that Bangladesh will let Afghanistan to flex their muscle in any way, shape or form because Bangladesh uh, has watched the match of Afghanistan against India and I'm pretty sure that they will have some lesson to learn that taking Afghanistan lightly is going to be a big mistake. So they will play very aggressively from the beginning. They will not care that it is Afghanistan. They will take Afghanistan just like they will take any other, you know, big country uh, like uh, India or, you know, Australia or New Zealand. So they will be very um, aggressive. They will not give any room to the Afghanistan team. So if they bat or if they bowl first, my belief is that if they are batting first, they will make more than 300 runs. If they are not making, if they are batting second, they will restrict um, Afghanistan within 250 or 60. Okay, that's my my understanding. So tomorrow's match, obviously Bangladesh is favored and I think they will win because right now they are at a stage where they cannot make mistake. The reason, the, the, the another reason in addition to the reason that Afghanistan plays so well against India and in addition to that, the other reason why Bangladesh will play uh, aggressively and with all confidence and with all seriousness is because if they lose now they will be almost out of the World Cup. I'm not sure if they will be for sure out, out but they will be. If they cannot beat Afghanistan tomorrow World Cup for them will be bye bye. So Afghanistan will be a, a good team. It's, it's going to be a tough contest if Bangladesh allows that to happen. But according to my understanding, my opinion is that tomorrow's game will be almost like an easy win. Almost easy win. Not too easy, but not a tight contest. Afghanistan will try their best to be to make it a very tight contest and Bangladesh can if Bangladesh allows it to happen obviously it's gonna be a disaster. But if it does become a tight contest, then Bangladesh will be in big trouble. Otherwise, I think that um, Bangladesh will win the match easily. But let's see what happens. Uh, we have seen the pitch the other day was very slow when the uh, England match was uh, played and also against Sri Lanka. And also when uh, India played Afghanistan, the pitch was very slow that doesn't produce a lot of pace, that, that doesn't produce a lot of um, boundaries because of the sluggishness of the, um, of the ground. But if, if the pitch is not sluggish, if the pitch is not slow, that's, uh, that's gonna benefit Bangladesh hugely because Saqib al Hassan is uh, now very, a match in the rhythm of playing some fast cricket match so he's right now on him on a on a, on a roll so if the pitch is not fast then Saqib al Hassan will not be able to make too much run um, and Tamim Iqbal he's also in form batsman Mushfiq Rahim did well in the last match uh, but one of the strengths that Bangladesh team has also, I should mention that, is that the batting lineup. Uh, I have never seen Spanola any any team 
has so much depth in their batting like Bangladesh or like this is a huge a bonus point for a team like Bangladesh that has players who can bat even to the number 10th 11th they all of them can bat this is huge huge advantage uh, especially in this time of cricket where people are tend to score a lot of runs so if you're playing five batsmen and if you're or if you're playing let's say four bowlers who cannot bat then you will not be able to chase down 300 runs and we have seen a lot of the uh, these uh, teams they're making uh, 300 runs easily now this area is very nice you can see the garden here so we came all the way from the building here okay and then we are right here so this is this is the garden there's a helicopter overhead you see that helicopter somewhere here it's tiny <laughs> it's gone now this is a, a Broadway well that's what we call it Broadway it's a nice park little you know place for people to walk I, I jog a lot here too especially now I actually went for a run or walk the other day um, so I'm, I'm doing you know exercise as much as I can well I hope uh, tomorrow we'll have a, a good match if you're an Afghan person I don't want to disappoint you I wish Afghanistan team all the best uh, but again my prediction is that Bangladesh will win not because I'm from Bangladesh but because I think Bangladesh is uh, stronger and at this stage of the game of the tournament they cannot afford to be relaxed I'll see you next time